guys it is currently very late on tuesday evening tomorrow i'm going into college in person which i'm so so looking forward to i can't even explain i've only been in college in person about five times already this year and this is going to be my last time until next semester so i'm sad but also excited so i thought i could bring you guys along and show you a little bit more in depth of what it's like studying film and how much i love it i have a really busy week with assignments i have a lot due and who knows will i get it all submitted on time it's a guessing game at this point but i'm gonna get some sleep so that i'm refreshed because i've got a test in college tomorrow but yeah i'm gonna get some sleep so good night <laughs> Show us your bed head. Wow. Did you ever get sleep? I've just made myself a smoothie and I'm trying to open the lid. Would you, do you want to try to open this for me? No? You're no help. I'll get it. Got it, got it, got it. So yeah, it's currently Wednesday morning and I am going into college in person today because I have a practical assignment. One of our modules, actually, I, I don't even think I've said, in case you didn't know, I study film and television production in college, which is like 60% practical work 40% theory so I love it we do a lot of practical work but obviously not this year also don't mind Elton but today we have an assignment in TV studio which is exactly what it says on the tin TV studio we have a TV studio in college and we learn how to do live shows etc work in that environment so today we have to do a run through of a live show as if it was actually happening. It's basically a talk show that we have to do and we all have our own roles. I am presenting in the morning for another group and then in the afternoon I am doing mine and I am the production designer as well as sound operator. So there you go in case anybody was curious. Ah, ah. Thank you very much for that. But yeah, I'm often asked questions about college, so I just thought, why don't I make a video? My last day in college in person, it's been a weird year. I definitely can't wait to show you guys more of my college life next year. But right now, there is no college life, which is so upsetting. I absolutely love my course. I'm on such a movie kick at the moment, which I'll actually probably talk about a little bit later on. Vlog would probably be very much me passionately talking about <laughs> films. I just feel like I never really talk about it on here because I don't know if people care but I love I love movies I love movies gosh I love movies it's really unhealthy anyway so yeah I have that assignment today which is going to be in person and I have a three-hour break so myself and Jess who I go to college with we are going to sit and get some more assignment work done because we don't have exams this year but we have a lot of assignments coming up and we definitely need to get on top of things so that is our plan so i'm just going to watch a little bit of youtube while eating my smoothie have a coffee and then i'll pop upstairs and get ready and chat with you guys then so yeah cheers mm, mm, mm. so good Okay, so it is time to go, but I just wanted to quickly show you guys my outfit. I have my Monet top on, a little cardigan because it's still chilly out. Do not mind the pile of clothes. 
we're just gonna cover that <laughs> i have my jeans on and new balance my kankin and i have rings on so there you go i have to go now though because you know me running late so i'm looking forward to it i probably won't get to film too much in the tv studio because it is an exam like a test after all for now i must leave what if i wake up happy and what if i wake up sad sorry if i said something something that made you mad wishing that i could call it yeah. sorry my service like bad <laughs> my bad when i wake up you're not next to me guess i'm missing all your energy that's all i want hello so my mom has just picked me up and it is currently five on the dot basically i'm so sorry i did not film more today it was an exam so i really didn't get to film much and i couldn't show you guys around as much as i wanted to it was just so busy and i feel like the minute i sat in the car when mom picked me up i was like mom is currently getting me a jam donut so i can have it with my coffee when i get home i'm going to watch promising young woman tonight which was one of the oscar winners this weekend and i'm very excited to see it so that is my plan for the evening the best part about being a film student is that watching a movie counts as studying which is such a win for me and i love it i've got so much due but we'll we'll ignore that because for now i'm treating myself tonight since i left the house today it is currently half eight. I have just watched Promising Young Woman. It was highly Oscar nominated. And I watched the Oscars on Sunday night, very early into Monday morning. I always stay up for the Oscars, even though the ceremonies usually always let me down in some way, I still just like to stay up for it. Very mixed emotions about the ceremony this year. I really liked the first half. They decided to tell nominees stories of like how they started in film or where their love started for film, which as a film student, I was like, yay. This is so fun, finding out how people started, what their favorite movies were when they went to the cinema, that kind of stuff, which I really enjoyed. If I'm honest, I have been in a real movie slump for probably a year now. At the start of the pandemic, I was like, oh, this is so, so good. I'm gonna watch so many movies and really, really catch up on all the movies that I want to watch. And honestly, all I wanted to watch was either trashy, easy TV or movies that I've already watched before that I found comforting. And I was really annoyed at myself for it, but honestly it's what i needed and i'm really getting this huge buzz back for movies at the moment all i want to do at the moment is watch movies and find new movies and learn more about them one of the major reasons for that actually is an app that i'm going to show you quickly can you see can you see i don't think you can see but it's this app here it's called letterbox and it's basically social media for film nerds you can post reviews you can like post your favorite movies all that kind of stuff but i'm kind of going on a bit of a tangent but as i was saying i just watched promising young woman and wow that movie has me kind of like i think i need a few days to properly soak it in because i feel like if i give a review now i'll regret the review in a few days obviously there's a few trigger warnings with it it's a little bit of a heavy one yeah it was directed by emerald fennel Oh, I'm just checking on the app here. And she won for best screenplay, which I found really interesting. So I really enjoyed it. Thought the first half was kind of like a different movie to the second half somehow. I like the conversation that it has created. It definitely has me like wanting to chat to people, wanting to talk about a few things. As you can see behind me, I need to make my bed. I've got fresh bed sheets to put on. I'm going to hop into bed because I'm honestly wrecked. I don't know how I'm gonna go back into normal life because I'm so tired from socializing today and just talking to people. But for now, I need to tidy all of this up and sort out my bed because I wanna get in it really, really bad. Good morning guys, it is currently Friday morning. I didn't film at all yesterday because it was just kind of a weird day, honestly. I wasn't feeling my best and I was just a little busy and a little bit stressed. I did get around to watching one other movie which was Ma Rainey's Black Bottom and I, what did I give that? 
Did I give that? I think I gave that a 3.5 out of 5. I really enjoyed it, mostly because of Viola and Chadwick's performances. They were outstanding and so, so good. So I think they carried the whole thing. Sometimes plays as movies work, sometimes they don't. But this one was like a nice one. I enjoyed it. But overall, the performance really carried it for me. And yeah, so I watched that. It was really good. And I just wanted to give you guys another little movie update. Today is Friday and Nomadland comes out on Disney+. Plus, so. I I'm super excited to watch that later on. However, right now I have an assignment due at five and my friend Jess, who I was in college with on Wednesday, is here because we have to get assignments done and work done for editing. We're doing After Effects, which is just like the graphics that you see on screens and ads, etc., animation, all of that kind of stuff, which is a little bit difficult, but yeah. So happy Friday, happy whatever day it is with you. Okay, so we got half of our assignment done, which we are very, very proud about, but we still obviously have half left. We've got quite a bit to do, but we went on a walk and it helped so, so much. We feel fresh, ready. We're gonna get it finished, we're gonna get it done. One or two more assignments until we are officially done college for the summer. So. We are pretty excited, pretty stoked about it, but we need to keep going. Yet, yeah, next time you hear from us, we will be done. Amazing. Woohoo! Hello, my loves. So, it is currently Saturday, and yes, I have to have this video uploaded for 5 o'clock tomorrow. It's just been such a busy week. I feel like for the first time now, I'm finally getting to sit down and breathe. Do not mind Thea, she is somewhere over here, but yeah, it has been a crazy busy week. It's the last week of college, and every assignment ever seems to be piled up this week, but I'm getting there slowly but surely. I've got two assignments left next week, which I will get done and then I'm done for the summer. So I can dedicate all of my time to these videos for you all. I just can't wait to get even more creative and have even more fun with it, especially because recently we have just found out here in Ireland that we are opening up a bit more. We've got retail opening up soon, cinemas will be open, museums, all of it, which I honestly cannot wait for. I cannot even explain. It's just such a long time coming and it finally feels like there's hope at the end of the road. So I hope you guys are all as excited about it as I am if you are from Ireland. I just wanted to finish this video on the fact that last night I watched Nomadland and guys I loved it. I loved it. I gave it a 4.5 and I know this movie might not be for everybody. If you don't like a slow movie this might not be for you because it really just tells the story of like real life and sometimes I don't feel like movies need to have these massive plot stories and plot lines. Sometimes you just want a little bit of something wholesome. It kind of reminded me a little bit of the movie Soul because it was just one of those movies you watch and you just feel things like you feel sad happy grateful all of those good things and don't even get me started on how visually stunning it was i was a bit of a nerd for it and i just loved every person that came on screen in it i thought their stories were beautiful they were beautiful francis mcdormand unbelievable chloe zhao i think i'm pronouncing that correctly hopefully i currently have all my eyes on her and emerald fennel i want to know more about them i want to see more from them and i'm just 
I loved all my movies that I watched this week. Three movies I watched. They are three that I thought I could give you guys my opinions on this week. As well as showing you a little bit of what it's like to study film. But obviously I will have much better videos of these come September when we are actually back in person. Which I have strong hopes for. But for now I need to get editing this to hopefully get it up for you all for tomorrow evening. We shall see. But I adore you all and I will see you next week.